What is going on everybody? Saludos to family. Hope all of you are doing super duper well. Welcome to another episode of Leveled Up Shredding. If you are new here, my name is Daniel and as always it is a pleasure to welcome you to my channel. Now what you just saw there was me uh, sending in my check-in photos or at least taking my check-in photos for my coach uh, so I can send them in that morning. I check in with them every Tuesday. Today's now Wednesday, February 10th and uh, yeah, that morning I woke up at 197 pounds. Now let me tell you about the spot that I take him in and why I take him there. That spot that I take them in is very consistent. I try to take them there all the time. As a matter of fact, all the pictures that I've taken for him have all been in that one spot. The reason why I take him in that one spot is because I'm getting all of the natural lighting from the window that's right in front of me. The reason why I'm getting all natural lighting is because I don't want to hide anything from my physique to my coach I want to show him everything natural about my physique there's nothing that I need to show off to him about I don't need to show him my physique during a pump I don't need to show him anything crazy like that I need to show him my 100% natural physique with natural lighting keep it 100% consistent all the time no half natty lighting one time natural lighting the other day like it's all gonna be consistent so that we can see the same consistent change over time I'm not trying to hide anything from him I'm trying to show consistent progress with consistent lighting at a consistent spot so that is why I'm taking them in that one spot but anyway speaking of coaching today this video is a video where I said that I was going to announce who my coach was and I'm actually really excited to introduce who my coach is because it's it's someone that I'm really, really proud of being with and representing. Now this individual has built a huge reputation in the fitness industry, but more specifically in the natural bodybuilding industry. He is a natural pro bodybuilder and he is probably one of the best natural bodybuilding coaches. He is known to get his competitors extremely shredded, like extremely shredded peak conditioning and we're talking over 100 pro cards over 80 pro titles and 13 world championships and I am extremely happy to be a part of and to represent Team Wilson bodybuilding with my coach Cliff Wilson so if none of you are familiar with Cliff Wilson I'm gonna go ahead and link his social at the bottom here I'm gonna link his Instagram at the bottom of the screen here just extremely reputable coach when it comes to natural bodybuilding and the reason why I went with him is because myself as a natural bodybuilder I want to reach the max like the the max potential that I can as a natural bodybuilder Cliff was recommended to me by two other individuals or who are considered really good friends of mine uh, we share the same mentality when it comes to training and bodybuilding and eating and discipline desire all that stuff and I'm hoping I can get them on the channel here soon they both recommended me uh, Cliff I did my research I looked into Cliff and I thought it was a no-brainer and as a natural competitor I just really want to max out my maximum genetic potential and bring out the most out of my natural physique he gets his competitors extremely shredded so at this point i'm prepared i know i say that now you know as i really dive into the experience of getting to these super low levels of body fat i'll see how prepared i really was uh you know in retrospect but uh i just know that my mindset right now currently is in the right place i know the sacrifices that i'm willing to do i know what's ahead i just haven't experienced it yet and so i'm ready i'm pumped I'm excited, I'm happy to be a part of the team and to represent, so so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and link his IG in the description box below. Go ahead and check him out. If you're interested in natural bodybuilding, he is your guy, 100% recommend. So I'm about to go make my dinner for the night here, and a lot of people have been asking me how I make my wraps. After the gym, I always come home and I make a super tasty, delicious, huge, low calorie wrap. And I've been getting a lot of messages talking about, you know, send me the recipe, or how do you make that, or what do you use, or you know, just, I'm just gonna show you. So I'm gonna take y'all along with me as I go make that right now. How I track it, protein, the fats, the macros, the calories, all that. You know what? Let's just let's just go out there. Transition. Before we get started, first of all, I just want to say shout out to my favorite doctor, Greg Doucette. This rap is totally inspired by him. When I first made my first ever rap uh, using his style, I never looked back. I just kept eating it every single day, even when I wasn't dieting I kept eating it and guess what it worked these wraps are so delicious they're so good there's a reason why people ask me how I make them or how do I manage to fit this in my diet well I'm gonna show you exactly how I fit this in my diet how I make it so low calorie and how I make it so delicious once again shout out Greg Doucette alright so if you know me you already know the name lavish bread 
get yourself some. Now, the only place that I've been able to find this is Walmart. So that is literally the only place I can find it. It's in the bread aisle, but lavish bread, get yourself some. I always stock up, like I always have a lot. Let me just show you how much I have. I always, like every time I stop by Walmart and I don't even need this stuff, I still buy it. Like, look at this. And I actually need to re-up. Stock up on lavish bread. I eat so much of this stuff. All right, 150 calories average per wrap. And they're huge. So lavish bread, we got that, look at this. 150 calories, look at the size of this thing, right? Like my hand is not small. I don't have a small hand, but look at this. An average tortilla is about 110 calories, 100 calories, 90 calories, depending on which tortilla you get. And it's way smaller than this for one taco. So yeah, you can make a really huge wrap with this for only 150 calories. Pretty insane. So remember how I told you that I only eat chicken about once a day, sometimes twice depending on what I want to cook when I get home from the gym. But typically I only eat it once and that's at work. Uh, when I get back from work, I like to make some uncured turkey bacon. This is my favorite turkey bacon. This is the meat of choice for my wraps, all right? It's a little higher in fat, but uh, that's all right. I save room for the fats uh, towards the end of the day. Take your favorite piece of low calorie meat and uh, you'll be fine. But for me, this adds great flavor to the entire wrap. I literally just use four slices. And if you haven't tried it, get some. My recommendation, all right? When you get some, tag me in your stories on Instagram. Let me know what you think of these. These are super bomb, all right? As you can tell, I really love these and you can see why I use them on my wraps here. I grabbed some pre-made guacamole, all right? I just buy the guacamole from uh, Costco. Once again, I buy it in bulk. Each one is 80 calories. That's super low calories. Like I said, I leave my fats to the end of the day almost. And uh, I like to just spread this along the lavish bread. So let's just show you everything from a closer personal. Check this out. So I have the bacon cooking right now just on the regular stove top on a pan. Really nothing big there. I Here I have the guacamole. I spread it. Adds amazing flavor to the wrap. The entire thing is about 80 calories. And nothing is ever 100% accurate like I said. But this is what I've been doing to diet. And so here is 80 calories worth of guacamole. Now after I spread the guacamole, this is typically where I'll put the romaine leaves one by one on top of the lavish bread, but I don't have romaine lettuce leaves, so that's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and start kicking it off with all of the vegetables. So, this is the vegetables that I use. Use all of your favorite vegetables. No matter what your favorite vegetable is, use them, I encourage it. Mine will always be peppers, purple onion, mushrooms. Love, love, love mushrooms. I love mushrooms, and they are so low calorie dense, y'all, so I just pack it with mushrooms, like literally all these mushrooms that I'm putting in here, probably is only about, I don't know, 15 calories, 20 calories max, and I put a lot, like a lot. These are my favorite main ingredients that I throw on there, then I throw on a handful of spinach, like a lot of spinach, I throw on a huge handful of spinach, why? Because spinach is also very low calorie dense, high in protein, high in fiber, high in all the other micronutrients that we need, so yes, I still get in all of my veggies throughout this diet. Now, do I count all the calories from the vegetables that I use here today? Yes, I do. I put them all into my fitness pal. Do I weigh them all out? No. I have weighed them out in the past, and I basically take that same weight that I used in the past and apply them every single day to my diet. Generally, I always use the same amount of vegetables. So the amounts that I use are kind of already pre-saved into my fitness pal. I just always reuse them every single day and it pops up like this. So yes, I do account for the vegetables on my fitness pal. I do account for them in my diet. If you are looking to cut down weight, count your vegetables, all right? All of these vegetables I'm putting in here average out to about 60 calories for all the vegetables. And that's including the spinach, that's including the mushrooms, the peppers, the onion. That is including, another one of my favorites here, two slices of pickles, jalapenos. So I add a few pieces of jalapeno. I like to place the spinach after the bacon here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add something like pepper. So Himalayan pink salt, which is just like regular salt, but I like to use this kind. Doesn't add any calories. Sodium's good for the pumps, we know that. Now the bacon today is a bit more toasty than usual because I almost burnt it showing y'all how I make these wraps, but there you go right here. I just placed the bacon right on top. Get that nice evenness along the wrap there. There is my meat, there's my proteins. The lavish bit also has protein. Protein's also coming from the spinach here, and like I said, load it up. There you have it, there. This is this is the wrap. What sauces do I use for this? Walden Farms Zero Calorie Ranch. Now, it does say zero calorie, 
but labels lie, they round down. So it's zero calories per serving, per two tablespoons, really it's maybe like two or three calories. They just round it down. So I also don't go crazy with the sauces. Do not go crazy with the sauces. I kind of just do this because I had so much sauces. That's enough flavor for me. So I do that. Once again, mustard also, same thing with mustard. It says zero calories a serving, but labels lie. Uh, so it's probably about two calories a serving. They round down, but like I said, we're not too worried about that. They're all very low calorie sauces. G Hughes barbecue sauce. This one's about 10 calories a serving, so I don't go too crazy with it, y'all. That gives it enough flavor for me to pass. And then lastly, I put that shit on everything. Frank's red hot sauce. And so there you have the wrap. This is how I make it. It's super high volume. It's super low calorie, but look at this. Look at this. It's like eating a freaking huge burrito from a taco truck. Look at this. And then after this, I just get to throw on my TV over there and I'm able to watch some anime, eat, maybe put my phone here, eat, enjoy this huge wrap. Uh, just stuff my face with it really. And that's how I diet. Oh my goodness. We all know that the first bite is the best bite. Let's not argue. That was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now that I finished that, I am able to talk to you about another thing. Uh, something that I've kept quiet about for a while. I don't know why, honestly. I should have probably said this since like the first or second video. But the show that I will be competing at, officially, as of the time of this recording, I am 16 weeks out. 16 weeks was the original uh, prep time frame that I had for myself until I actually got a coach. And of course, coach wanted me to start earlier, which I was all for it. Let's get it, let's do it. And now we are three weeks ahead of schedule and I'm looking freaking, I'm looking pretty freaking lean for being 16 weeks out. So where does that place us for the date? May 29th, I will be competing at the Cascadian Classic in Bend, Oregon. Cascadian Classic 2021, I'll be competing in the men's physique division. It is an NPC show, so I will be doing an NPC show for my first show. And uh, yeah, I'm just really excited. So May 29th, we are going to bring the best package possible onto that stage for the men's physique competition, uh, for the men's physique division. Goal is to bring my overall best effort, A game 100%, give it everything that I got. That's the goal. As you will see the weeks leading up, I'm gonna give everything that I got for this show. Now, the placing that I get, again, will be the cherry on top. I am shooting for first place. Obviously, I am shooting for first place. I am working for first place. I am working my ass off to get that first place overall, right? That's what I'm doing. However, that isn't the entire goal of this journey, of leveled up shredding, of my journey up to the stage. The goal is to give it my 100% effort and do what I say that I'm going to do. Earlier this year, at the beginning of this year, I said I was going to do this show. I said I was going to prepare for a show. I said I was going to compete. And I'm gonna do the damn thing, all right? Whenever you say you're gonna do something, do it. Don't let anything else get in the way. Do it. I'm willing to sacrifice what I got to sacrifice in order to get to this show. I've already visited my family. I visited them last Sunday and they ordered a pizza. You know, they ordered pizza. We watched the Super Bowl. So I watched the Super Bowl with my mom and my sisters, which was super nice. Loved it. Loved it. I've always loved family time. But yeah, I took my meal. I took my wrap stuff. I took my lavish bread. I took some chicken with me and I took all the vegetables with me and I made a freaking wrap out there. They ordered pizza. And did I have any? Absolutely not. Was I tempted? A little bit. But was it bad? No. Uh, I like the foods that I eat. Anyways, I digress. The goal of all this is to give it my absolute best effort, my all. Work hard, train hard, motivate, inspire. When you say you're gonna do something, we gotta do it. When I said that I was going to compete, I let that into the universe because I want to manifest it. And here I am doing that now, preparing for the show. This morning, I weighed in at 195.6 pounds. Today we are at Wednesday, February 10th. Today is my sister's birthday. I did give her a call today, that was good. Sweet little girl, she's seven years old. I love that little girl. Today was her birthday. Anyways, again, I digress. Once again, my carbs have dropped by 20, so now my new macros are 350 carb, 255 protein, and 59 fat. So, with that said, uh, the journey continues. We're gonna keep going at a steady pace here. My energy levels are still super high. I'm still feeling great and uh, everything's going according to plan. May 29th, that is Memorial Day weekend. We are competing at the Cascadian Classic in men's physique. The placing that we get, we are shooting for first. You know we're working for first place, we are. But at the end of the day, 
the goal is to give it our best effort. So I always want to make these videos about 10 to 15 minutes long. Sometimes I go past the 15 minute mark and I end up chopping it down or editing it down. But let me know what y'all think about these videos. If you want them to be a little longer, I don't know how you watch my videos. If you watch them when you're eating, if you're watching them when you're doing cardio, which is great, lunch, dinner, breakfast, uh, however you watch them, let me know. I want to make them short and to the point. That way you're not just saying, ah, oh, wow, well, this is boring, next. Yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. I might start making a little bit of longer videos just to help you out. I don't know if you're out there and you're on the same journey, you're on the same cut, you're trying to lose weight for yourself and you jump on a cardio uh, session for 20 to 30 to 40 minutes and you want something to watch to pass the time while you're doing cardio, while you're eating, let me know. I'll definitely make these videos a little bit longer but uh, yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. If you liked or you learned something here today, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you everybody so much for all your support. I truly, truly appreciate it. I will see you all in the next video, and until then, you already know what it is. Let's get active.